Today, we're starting an amazing series here on YouTube and only on YouTube about worry and anxiety. What's the difference and how to combat it? So today I'm gonna to give you the difference between worry and anxiety. And starting tomorrow morning, I am gonna give you 10 different ways to combat worry because I am a recovering worry addict. <laughs> okay, so 365 times in the Bible, God tells us not to worry. So what is worry? So let's start with anxiety. And I am not talking about the medical condition of an anxiety disorder. Those are people that really do need medical treatment and they need to seek God and seek doctors for help with that. But anxiety is a natural condition. It is a natural thing that God put in our heart that helped us defend ourselves from dangerous situations. But worry is feeding that anxiety. So let me give you an example. So let's say we're in Spain and we decide to go to a bullfight, because that's what you do what, other than eating paella and having amazing food and sightseeing, right? So we are at a bullfight and we're on the front row. We got amazing seats. Anxiety is that thought of what if the bull jumps over and hits me on the front row? That's anxiety. Then you push it out of your mind and go, oh, he's not gonna do that. That's why all these bars are here and we're all good, right? Okay, worry is you were kind of bothered by that idea, that worry, but you decided to come back the next day and have front row seats and have a little bit of anxiety and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. That's worry, my friends. Worry is allowing yourself to dwell on those dangerous possible situations instead of trusting God. And I know that sounds really harsh, but I've had to tell myself that for years. So one thing I've learned is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. He's working it out, my friends. Stay tuned for tomorrow for the very first way to combat worry. I love you and God's got this.